Within the framework of the core project, uh, in Slovakia we would like to achieve the improvement of linkage to care, to hepatitis C treatment for uh, people who use drugs. 60% of people who use drugs or uh, they get tested, they have hepatitis C. So it's really important to finally link them to, to the healthcare they need. In Slovakia, the hepatitis C treatment uh, was not possible until 2023. The first restriction was uh, that there was one year of abstinence required for everyone who wants to undergo hepatitis C treatment. And then there was another restriction regarding the healthcare and access to healthcare. People who use drugs, they often have debts on he health insurance. These debts can uh, be up to 10,000 of euros. So people with debts, they don't have access to any healthcare, just to emergency healthcare. So the treatment of HIV or hepatitis C or other infections were not uh, possible for people with debts on health insurance. But since 1st of January 2023, they changed the law about health insurance and now it's possible. We focus on the linkage to care in terms of individual assist assistance to every client. So we are going with them to the health clinics, to hepatologists or infectologists, and we are with them in every step of the way. The process in Slovakia in terms of treatment of hep C is really bureaucratic, challenging and uh, long. There is more than seven visits to the specialists. There is like mm, blood sampling every visit. So within the core project, we want to also reduce some of the challenges and barriers we are facing with uh, the clients at the health clinics. And this we will, we are able to do with the cooperation with the health professionals and advocating on the national level about the conditions. We already established a cooperation with uh, three specialists regarding hepatology and infectology. In the 2023, we did an analysis of the provision of hepatitis C treatment for people who inject drugs in Bratislava. And with this analysis, we were able to present it at National Hepatological Conference. So I'm really happy that we, these recommendations uh, were heard by the health professionals and I hope that now the cooperation will be better and will improve.